Modern fighting games aren't usually that welcoming for newcomers, with most being filled with strange characters, intricate mechanics and esoteric terms like advancing guard or crossover air raid. TAG! Tatsunoko vs Capcom Ultimate All-Stars is as complex as the best of them, but it's also without a doubt one of the easiest in the genre to jump into, thanks to control schemes that cater for everyone from brawling neophytes to air combo aficionados. There are some character balance issues and online is more finicky than it should be, but if you're a Wii owner and you've been itching for a fight, then Tatsunuko vs Capcom is a great sparring partner no matter what your starting skill level. TAG! <laughs> Tatsunuko is far more fast paced than something like Street Fighter 4 and is more akin to Capcom's classic versus title, Marvel vs Capcom 2. This fighter lets you choose two playable characters and you'll be able to switch between them at almost any time during a match. The basic control scheme in Tatsunuko has been simplified from previous versus titles to now feature only four buttons, three for attacks and one dedicated for calling in your partner to assist. The game may seem less complex because it uses fewer buttons, but there's still depth to each character's moveset that belies the simplified controls. Combining D-pad and stick directions with button presses changes the nature of an attack, and the same applies to special moves. The attack button you use determines the direction or effect of an attack, or, in some cases, changes a move entirely. There's plenty of intricacy to be found in Tatsunuko, and it will take some serious playtime with the game's rock-solid mechanics to get the nuances of each character down pat. Whatever character you choose, offense is the key, and the game lets you, skill permitting, notch ground and air hit combos well into the double digits. You can add even more destruction thanks to the ability to string together hyper combos, release two at once or even unleash ultra powerful hypers that can take serious chunks out of any health bar. A lot of the fun in Tatsunuko comes from finding and experimenting with new combos, a joy that's topped only by the satisfaction you feel when you successfully carry out a devastating multi-hit attack on your opponents. Your defensive options are similarly varied. Pressing the three attack buttons at once while blocking pushes an opponent back, while pressing all four buttons will perform a mega crash, which will disrupt opponents mid-combo and throw them across the screen. You can also sacrifice any red health you have, that's the portion of a character's lost health that would normally recover over time when he's not in battle, for a momentary boost in power. Called a Baroque Combo, this can be used to extend combos and can be particularly devastating in expert hands because of the increase in damage temporarily bestowed. This might all sound rather complex, but the game's different control schemes do an outstanding job of making it accessible to everyone. Experienced players will naturally gravitate to using a classic controller or GameCube controller. The game also has two simpler setups one using the Wii Remote solely, and the other using the Wii Remote and Nunchuck. Both of these condense the controls even further, assigning one button for all attacks and one button for all special moves. It sounds limiting, and for those serious about their fighting games, it is. But these simple control schemes are surprisingly robust, allowing you to pull off hypers, most special moves, and some basic combos. This simplified control scheme makes playing a rewarding experience for novices, allowing them to become instantly competitive against more practiced players. While this user-friendly control should prove appealing for the majority, Tatsunuko's 26-strong roster is less of a draw card, at least initially. Both sides have some pretty big names on the list, such as Ryu, Chun-Li, Morrigan, some Gachaman heroes, and Kashan. But while the rest is made up of Capcom stars who mainly haven't appeared in anything recently, or anime characters little known outside of Japan, each of the pugilists plays uniquely. While this makes the transfer of learned skills from one character to another difficult, it does make for a varied fighting game with plenty of depth and replayability. There are also two playable giant characters on a roster, and due to their sheer screen-filling bulk, they appear solo only and never as part of a team. While they're slow, each of these behemoths deals serious damage, even with basic attacks, although as single fighters they do have the disadvantage of not being able to recover any health. Now despite this handicap, these giants can throw the balance of the game off. Experienced players will have no trouble getting past them, but inexperienced to average gamers may find them tough hurdles to overcome, even if they're being controlled by only moderately skilled human opponents. If you don't have a human opponent to challenge, then Tatsunuko vs Capcom comes with four standard single-player modes. Arcade, Survival, Tam Attack, and Training. 
There are also two mini games. One is an extremely simple collect all the letters activity during the end credits, and the other is a more fully featured four player shoot 'em up that can be unlocked only after a certain condition is fulfilled. The rest of the game's offline component is pretty bare bones, which is a pity given some of the comprehensive extras other recent games in the genre have come up with. There is online play in Tatsunuko, and it works quite smoothly. Both ranked and unranked matches are available, with wins in ranked matches earning you points and title promotions. Strong connections will result in practically seamless matches, and even games with opponents from the other side of the world can run hassle-free. Most of the hassle in online actually comes from the bare-bones matchmaking process and the convoluted method of adding to your friends list. Apart from being able to filter for local or global matches, there's no option to see available games when you're trying to find a game online. You're automatically paired up, so those finicky about playing against only opponents with good connections will have to try their luck. To add a friend, you both need to exchange a unique 12-digit code found within Tatsunuko vs Capcom. Of course, this process has more to do with how the Wii handles its online side and is not the fault of the game, but it's pretty annoying nonetheless. Tatsunuko vs Capcom is easily one of the most impressive looking games to grace the Wii to date. All of the characters are animated beautifully, and while stage backgrounds are a little plain, all of the various specials and hypers are presented with vibrant colors and particle-laden effects. Tatsunuko is a dynamic and pretty game to watch, and this is matched by great audio ranging from convincing battle effects to catchy music. That Tatsunuko vs Capcom is even getting a Western release is a major positive, considering the relative obscurity of some of the characters on offer. While the characters may not be popular, the game itself deserves to be. While some balance issues and its lack of online options hold it back, Tatsunuko vs Capcom Ultimate All-Stars is still not only one of the best fighting games on the Wii, but also one of the best available on any current-gen system.